Actually, why am I even saying no disrespect to me? That nigga been disrespecting me. I don't got no nothing to say to that nigga. Um, it's on his page though. Meek Mill. He put like a preview out, and Bobby looks like a video hoe in this shit. Look at this shit. The fuck are we watching right here? Like, essentially, what's happening is that like they're all with Rock Nation. Like, let's be very clear with it, right? That's why I kept telling you, Rock Nation has this whole little plan. They be just they be watching niggas who's in contractual dis disputes, and they just pick on it. Same with fifteen on one. Meg Thee Stallion realized that that nigga can't bring her to the heights she want to go. Meg Thee Stallion wants to be Cardi B. She wants to be Nicki Minaj. You're not going to get that by just signing to some, you know what I mean, no, dis no respect to to um homie. But, bro, like, that's one of your first artists. You never brought no artist to the levels of a Cardi B or a Nicki. Like, the same with Nicki. Nicki, not, not same with Nicki. Same with Cardi. Cardi had a manager before, you know what I mean? And Cardi fired that nigga. Cardi trying to like Cardi signed with with, with Solid Foundation, which is um 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 QC, uh QC's management company. Yeah, she's trying to get to the top. Everybody's trying to get to the fucking top, bro. Like, like you get past the point of wondering if you're gonna be broken out. You you're then trying to just become the biggest you could be. And all I'm saying is that Rock Nation realize that with a certain artist like all right cool let's fuck with bobby right now when nobody want to fuck with him because we know he's going to get out of jail and the whole culture is going to fuck with him but now epic records and i ain't gonna lie to you i'm not even mad at uh, rock nation for bobby schmerder even though you know fans should realize he's not dropping music because of a contractual dispute that's it he wants to drop music it's not like he don't got songs he want to drop it but they got to figure out the shit because they they want the money and the rights to the music he drops going to the right place. You feel me? That's just pretty much what it is. But the people who I'm saying Kendrick had label issues, that's why he ain't drop. Bobby had label issues, that's why he ain't drop. Meg Thee Stallion, didn't you just see her on TMZ talking about, yo, my label's blocking my shit? Because you know what happened? Her label called Crawford 1501 Entertainment. Bro, they know like she motherfucking is leaving. She has told them already. I'm managed by them, but I want to them to be my label too so essentially call crawford they're tight that's why you had jay prince put down all these fucking like you know them slow talking like yo this is a courtesy call yeah because you're losing your artist he's doing it to, to try to hold his homie down but you're losing your artist and that's just part of the game right and um for 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 that label when you lose your artist they're trying to kill her career i'm gonna keep it 100 with you Man, Carl Crawford trying to kill Meg Thee Stallion's career. So when she's trying to drop a song that's a pop song, bro, they're not about to let you get hot and then leave them. They want you to be cold when you fucking leave, right? So when, by the way, when you sign to an, a label, you sign all your rights over to them. So for you to release any song, they have to sign off and agree and, and basically approve it. They're not going to prove nothing that Meg Thee Stallion puts out. Anytime Meg Thee Stallion has put out an album or a project or a song... last couple months they've hated on it keep in mind they get rich from it but any song any album is one step closer to her leaving and they want to make sure hey we're gonna get our money but we're gonna make sure this chick is cold as ice when she fucking leaves that's just honestly what it is i'm, I'm giving you out of the facts about this is the music business y'all be looking at these artists thinking they got free reign all these niggas are slaves to the record companies that signed them they own their souls that's a fact Bobby, you think Bobby Schmurter don't want to drop? He can't drop, okay? Why can't he drop? Somebody own his soul. That's a fact. All these artists, they can't drop when they want to. Shit. Like, even as free as Drake is, Drake can't drop when he wants to. You think, Drake, like, nigga, Universal owns Drake's music. That's a fact. They own it. He's not independent. They own his music. You get me? Now, keep in mind, like, Lucian, which is a head of the, the, the whole Universal conglomerate, like, they're not going to fucking hold Drake's music hostage because that's billions of dollars. It's, that'd be dumb, right? And you got shareholders and all type of shit. You're going to let it go. 
But still, somebody like Bobby Schmerder, like somebody like Megs, nah, come on. Anyway, Kodak Wilder don't laugh. Oh shit! Thank y'all for telling me.